The film Citizen Kane follows a story of a reporter who is assigned to find out what the word rosebud means, which is the last word spoken by a man named Charles Foster Kane. The film then goes back into Charles Kane's life to find out the significance of this word, where we find out who Charles Kane is and about his crazy life. Cinematography has three main choices for analysis. Shot types, which describe how a sequence of shot types delivers meaning. Lighting, which is direction, source, mood. And lastly, familiar image. The cinematography in the film Citizens Kane heavily focuses on the lighting and deep focus concept. According to Studio Binder, deep space is defined as the deep focus shot utilizes the space. The lighting in this scene favors all the elements of the scene. You're able to search for emotional depth and story elements in each character's placement throughout the frame. Deep space emphasizes the emptiness and power that Charles Kane has throughout his life featured in the film. Greg Tolan, the cinematographer of Citizens Kane, loved the use of deep space composition and lighting. These two forms were used together most of the time. The high contrasting lighting played along with the deep space used in the film. A specific example that stuck out to me in the film is when Mr. Thatcher is in the office with Charles to sign Charles's newspaper company over to Mr. Thatcher, Charles is standing in the back of the room and the sound echoes when he talks to show how far he is from Mr. Thatcher. The echo brings the use of deep space into reality for the viewers and it shows the message of loss and power and how he is giving up what he had. The con contrast of lighting in the room also brings attention to Charles in the back. It emphasizes the size of the room and it shows power within uh, the room. The brighter light also shows the shadows and it also makes Kane stand out and not be hidden in the back. Another use of cinematography in this film is the scene when Susan Alexander Kane packs and leaves Charles Kane for good, gets out of his life. Kane's back is standing in the front of the frame watching while Susan Alexander walks out of his life and walks through the giant mansion. As she's walking out, she's walking through a dark hallway with massive door frame frames, and this emphasizes um, greatly from behind and creates deep space and shows the emptiness and loneliness of their home. The cinematographer, Greg Toland, is a very well-respected well-known and experienced man within the industry. Before working on Citizen Kane with Orson Welles, his work was also featured in William Wyler's The Best Years of Our Lives, John Ford's The Grapes of Wrath, and about 13 other films. Toland was beyond his kind. He took risks and found a way to get the most perfectly captured shot. In Citizen Kane, there was a scene where he cut a hole in the floor and had the camera level with the floor to angle up at the actors to capture the correct understanding of the scene and to get a good deep space concept. Although Tolan lived a short life, he is in the top 10 most influential cinematographers for his great skill and ability. Tolan's use of deep space in the film The Grapes of Wrath is very similar to Citizen Kane, where there is great emphasis on space throughout the film and color. The purpose of this was to show the flat landscape and du dusty emptiness of Oklahoma. Tolan showing is great to work in all of his films he is part of and his work in Citizen Kane is what set him apart from all of the others.